Okay. Okay. Ashlyn, thank you so much for coming on today to talk about our body image course. I am so glad to be here. Great. Thanks for giving us your time. Um, How about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So I live in Utah. I have a daughter who is one and I'm married and I also have two dogs, a German shepherd and an Australian shepherd who are a bunch of energy. Nice. Yeah. So um, I've known Ashlyn for a couple months now and yeah, I invited her on. I think she's a really cool person. has a great energy, great story. So um, yeah, a good person to, to talk about this course that we've created or I've, I've created. So, all right. I want to know Ashlyn. Now, what is it that intrigued you about a body image course? When you heard that I was like, okay, I'm, I made this course. I spent all summer compiling this course with my colleague, Marky, like, yeah. What, what were your thoughts and impressions? I feel like I had two really big things that kind of drew me to it was one was I was really tired about the way I was like inner monologuing, talking to myself. I was tired of the way. Like, what do you mean? Like, what was the inner monologue like? I was tired of the way I felt about my body. And I was tired that I didn't have energy. And I was tired that every time I tried to diet or do any type of exercise, it wasn't resulting the way I wanted. And I was tired of like going to these people that said they were professionals and it still wasn't working. Really? What do you mean? Like what professionals had you turned to? I've gone to like, um, I've had like a two different personal fitness coaches and then I've had, um, like a meal planner that mixed with my fitness. So like I was eating certain things to go with certain exercises and stuff like that. And it just wasn't livable. Really? Like, was it sustainable? Not something you can afford or spend that many hours a day doing. Exactly. I didn't have that much time to do it. I'm in school full time. I've got a daughter. Um, At that time when I was working with the, the fitness and the meal plan person, like we were changing houses. I was taking on some businesses and it just, I thought it was going to make it easier because I didn't have to think about the food. They just told me what to do and it wow. made it like 10 times harder. Really? Yeah. Really? So how discouraging that you're like turning to these pros who are like, we'll help you, we'll help you. Mm-hmm. And you just kept turning to them and like, like, no, but I'm now even more obsessed with my yes. food and I'm even more obsessed with my body when the whole point to not be so obsessed right yeah I wanted to just like get to a point so I could forget about it and be fine but like I didn't feel like I ever got to that point oh god that's so frustrating I'm sorry um (laughs) so so okay so I I kind of interrupted you you're saying when you were just kind of tired of this inner monologue tired of feeling the way you were feeling yeah and then I had my daughter and I really didn't want to like encourage this type of thinking and being into her Mm. I didn't want to pass down this thought of your body isn't what it needs to be. Mm. And I'm watching her learn to grow and I get so excited that she can crawl. Like that's what it's supposed to be about. Totally. No. And I've heard that from, from some new moms or like people who have grown up having eating disorders is that can be a wake up call is having your own child, your own daughter and thinking, Oh no, like, I don't want to pass on some of these things that were passed on to me. I want to break the cycle. For sure. And that's exactly what it was. So when you heard about the course, you're thinking like, okay, yeah, maybe this thing can help maybe this direction. Yeah. Well, I was looking into it and a lot of it was like, it's not your fault and your body isn't the issue. And what do you mean? Was that the narrative that you'd gotten that it was your fault? kind of like I just didn't have enough discipline or I wasn't um, focused enough. I wasn't spending enough time or I was just too lazy. Mm. Got that a lot. When it's like, oh my gosh, you're like one of the hardest workers I know, like with (laughs) school and work and being a mother, like, oh my gosh. I just figured maybe I just didn't have enough willpower. Oh my gosh. Where it was, or like, I loved food too much. I was addicted to food and it, that just wasn't it. It mm. was this ideal that I had to be a certain way. And that was the only way I was okay. Where oh obviously God. that wasn't it. So. Well, right. Right. Clearly. Yeah. And like diet culture was 
you know, kind of, kind of get into you as it, as it does, you know, yeah. right. And I didn't realize how deep it ran into everything. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, and so, and so like what, what in it, eventually ended up having you being like, okay, I'm going to click the button. I'm going to actually start this course. I'm going to give it the time because let's face it, you don't have much time. Mm -hmm. So why did you think it would be worth your time and money? Well, that I love the fact that it's self-paced. So Mm -hmm. I could learn these things on my time when I needed to, as I learned them. So like, if it took me more time to learn one thing over another, that's okay. That's what I needed. And I could really hone in on the things that I felt like were my issues. And to really make the jump is, was I was done. I felt like I was like, not myself. I was done being somebody else's puppet and trying to make these ideals of other people. And so I wanted to jump in and be like, I'm my own person. I'm in control of my own life. I get to decide what I am. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm so glad you did. I'm glad you end up trusting, (laughs) trusting me enough to, to start the course. Um, so so I guess the question for you is tell me about your body image before taking the course. Mm-hmm. Like where was body image at for you? Yeah. Before this whole process began. I feel like I was really good at nitpicking and being like this little thing I don't like, or this little thing I don't like, or if I could just like change my thighs just a little bit. Or uh-huh. if, I don't like my hair, a little less yes. hair. Like, let's yes, see. for sure. And like, even like things that didn't have to do with like anything like, oh, if my nose was a little bit straighter and like I would nitpick at my face or I got a new freckle and I'm like, oh, I don't like where that one is. Um, Mm -hmm. I get freckles on like the inside of my eyes and it looks like I have, like my eyes are tired all day long. And I'm like, oh man, if I could just remove freckles, like they're just not cute. And like, I just remember I can just like, or I'd weigh myself every morning to Mm -hmm. be like, Am I any less than yesterday? Am I any better? And why do you, what do you think you were looking for in that? Like, really, if we're thinking more deeply about this, what is that nitpicking actually about like any guesses or insights about like, what do you think that was? I think a lot of it was just wanting to be comfortable and be happy and make it like the things that I do are okay that I do because I'm fit or I'm healthy. So no matter what oh. I do, it's all okay. So it's almost like maybe the freckles would be okay if my body was like this, or if everything else was okay, then this, I can get a a pass to myself on or something. Yeah. Like it's okay if I eat dessert, because I mean, I'm super fit. Like I can do whatever I want or like my younger sister, she has looks totally different than I do. And we talk about all the time, how we kind of wish we looked like each other Hmm. and like for me, for her to tell me that was kind of eye-opening the idea that maybe I do have my own personal issues that I need to deal with. Uh, And then honestly, it's probably a a big thing is like acceptance. Like you can be out and people don't look at you or judge what you're eating. Or I feel like maybe I was thinking that like everyone's watching me. Sure. Sure. Yeah. That that I'm being judged for these things, or people might think that's weird or off. Mm -hmm. And so if I fix these things, then what? What what's the idea that you think like will happen if you everything will be perfect? It will I will be happy. Um like I don't know, I feel like I would find some type of peace in myself and be Mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe these attacks won't be for me. Like like with Pinterest, I used to like Pinterest so hard, but everything on there, like I have a motivation, I had a motivation board of like what the ideal of me would be. Ah, uh, yeah. Like it's if I ever got there, then it wouldn't be about me and I could focus on other things. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what, and what you're describing just sounds honestly pretty relatable, I think for a lot of <laughs> women and probably just humans in general, truly like in this day and age, you know, it's not because you didn't have a, an eating disorder, you know, it sounds like from what I know about you anyway, um, it doesn't sound like you had an eating disorder, but you had like a pretty standard, like not the best body image or relationship with your body, like not extreme, but just annoying. Maybe like we were two different people. Like there was me and then there was my body. 
and what like, do you mean? like it was like a friend that I didn't want to hang out with oh. and that I had to deal with because I mean I carry my body with me I go everywhere with it I can't leave it behind right but it wasn't what I wanted and so I just dealt with it and it was there yeah just kind of annoying annoying little shadow or something that's just yeah. over you all the time ah uh, yeah yeah that's hard um so I guess I, I want to know like after you've completed the course like all the modules I'm not sure where you're at the workbook at this point but um where how do you feel like your body image has changed since taking the course and I'm not expecting anything like you know enormous whatever but like yeah what would you say are some things that maybe have changed since taking it I feel like I I go a day without even thinking about my body which yes. is like mind-blowing to me that like yes. at the end of the day I'd be like oh I don't know what like I didn't stand in front of the mirror and put on seven different outfits and make my room a mess because it wasn't perfect. Or yeah. like sometimes I'll go out without my hair done or my makeup done and I don't think about it. And to me, that was so freeing to have this open mind space for other things. That's seriously like so freeing. That's just, yeah, the mind space that you would have that was previously occupied by appearance based oh. things it is now free to do like whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Like that is some freedom. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I can do more of the activities I want to do without focusing on like the outcome or the end result of them. Yeah. Totally. The, why, why are you doing those activities? If before it was for the end result, what are you doing those activities for now? <laughs> some of them I don't even do now. Okay. Like, what are some of the behaviors for, like, that went away? I used to get up at like five in the morning to go to a certain gym class and I really enjoy sleep and yeah. really want it. <laughs> and so I sleep in sometimes, but I changed to activities that I enjoy instead. Like I recently bought a bike and it's been so long since I've ridden a bike, but it wasn't for the idea of, oh, what will this do to my body by the end of the month? It was simply time I get to spend outside. And totally. It was so freeing to think about, like, I can do that without having to be nervous about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think your motivations totally change when you repair the relationship with your body. Your motivations for doing things are from the inside out because this feels mm -hmm. good or it sounds fun rather mm -hmm. than, oh, it's because I want to look this way and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, the other day, I think it had been like five days in a row that I ate ice cream at the end of the day. And then I realized, oh, I'm not upset about this. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's not terrible. This isn't the worst thing to ever happen to me. It was because I enjoyed it. And it was like, right after I put down my daughter, me and my husband would sit and eat ice cream together. And right. it was for the joy of being together and getting to relax at the end of the day. Totally. You know, not, well, it's not a, a binging behavior. It was not mm -hmm. this like sinful secret thing. It was like, right. no, this is literally like a nice treat and like, great, I deserve a treat by the end of the day. So like, <laughs> was, like yeah. Oh yeah. Good. good, good, good. Anything else you want to say about your body image changes you noticed um, through the course or maybe, maybe that was it? I think I definitely, maybe not changed my style, but changed the way I go clothes shopping because I'm not oh, going yeah. there. And being like, oh my gosh, I really wish I was this size. I was, I put on clothes and I'm like, this one fits, this one doesn't. That's get something that's more comfortable. Like I'm not there to try to pro portray this like ideal of myself. Okay, so the numbers, it sounds to me like if I'm interpreting this correctly, the numbers have lost power over you. Before the numbers on certain sizes, you'd be like, that's what I want. That's where I yeah. want to be. Yeah. For and sure. Now it's maybe less about like shopping's less about fitting into a certain size and more about what? Maybe comfort and ability to do everything I need to. Like mm -hmm. if I were before, if I wore a skirt and it was too tight, it was too hard to pick up my daughter. Sure. And so I'd have to like squat or my husband would just do it for me. And now it's just like, I want to be able to do everything I want to do. So if I go to the park with my daughter, I better be wearing clothes. I can slide down the slide in because we're going to do right. it. That's right. Because it, it gets, sounds like it's a little more about function rather than just the way it looks. And I'm, I love clothes that do both, ideally, right? Like it makes yeah. us 
that yeah. are very cute clothes, but also have that. Function. I'm not like afraid to take on styles. Cause I used to be like, Oh, I can't wear that. That's what like, I can't pull that off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, um, I can wear whatever I want. So amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what were some of your key takeaways? Um, you know, what, what are some things you could like share that you're like, okay, this actually made a difference. Like, or this is something that I think about regularly that I've incorporated. Yeah. I think one of the big ones is it's not my fault that I thought this way. Okay. I learned a lot about diet culture and where it actually lies and how to be a consumer that sees those type of things. Ah, uh, yes. Cause yeah, we don't realize like where these thoughts have come from. We've thought this way most of our lives. And so, yeah, yeah. I grew up and I mean, I played sports and so like all the time I was talking about like my physique and my fitness and stuff like that. And it wasn't my fault. These things were like put on me. Mm. And then uh, another thing was like, it didn't have to be this way. I didn't have to feel this way about my body. It doesn't always have to be hard. It can be light and easy and you can go oh days without thinking about it. Like, <laughs> yes, it doesn't yeah. always have to be hard. It doesn't, it does not always need to be a battle that you yeah. are fighting and a struggle and all of these things that so many women and men make it out to be like it is like, but yeah, there's, there's other options. Yeah. Oh yeah. Even if, even if your parent is a parent who like, I don't know. I don't know if your parents were like that or like were nitpicking of their own bodies or mm -hmm. encouraged to change theirs, but sometimes that's where we can get those messages. And Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, my parents went through like this whole body change for them when they got married because they were super athletic and then they kind of moved out of that. And so they had a hard time with it. And I think they were dealing a lot with that as mm. we grew up. Mm, really? Yeah. Um, but I kind of, by the end of this, I really figured out that me and my body didn't have to be two different people. Okay, that tell me about that. I can have a kind inner voice to myself. Okay. And eat good things and not blame my body for things and be like, oh, that's the, I can't do that because of my body. It's just not capable of doing that. I mean, I've broken my knee before and now like it couldn't do that when it was broken. Now that it's healed, I can actually do things like that's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. And like, I don't know. Can you give an example of maybe one of those automatic thoughts that now you've learned to like replace with a new thought. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we have so many automatic thoughts about our body. And so can you give me an example of one that you catch yourself in now and then have replaced with a new thought? Yeah, I think probably the biggest one is I wish I looked like her. Okay. So yeah. So you see, see a woman who's like looking awesome mm -hmm. and you're like, damn, I want to look just like that. Yeah. Or like, I wish I was that fit or I wish like I just had this other life and mm. the only thought that I have is great for them, but I'm happy for me too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, like, cool. That's amazing that her hair is great, but like, mm -hmm. like but what? Like I think about myself, I am at the point in my life where I wanted to be. And so why do I need to make it not happy? Right. You're like, I've always wanted to be married and have a child yeah. and you know, have the freedom to do these things and mm -hmm. pursue what I want. And exactly. that doesn't diminish it. Like their beauty, their hotness, whatever does not diminish mm -hmm. what you have to offer. Exactly. That's totally like nail on the head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just treating beauty. Like it's some finite resource. Like there's only like so much to go around. And yeah. I feel like that's a belief that I hear a lot is that their beauty almost makes me therefore less because they're yeah. more beauty. Oh, yeah, like there's like a scale and I'm not finding it. Yeah. Or it's like mm, just different and that's cool that they're I think they're beautiful. And yeah. No big deal. Like exactly. Totally. Okay. Well, um, yeah, thanks so much for taking the time to to talk about this body image journey you're on and the transformation you've made. Um, any last things you want to like say about it before we jump off? 
call. Honestly, the thing that I love about it is it doesn't have to be like a one-time thing too. Once you've gone through the course, you can go back oh. and do it. And like the things that you, because like you struggle every day. It's not like one day you're magically perfect and everything. Well, and some days are worse than others, right? We have yeah. body image disruptions, like yes. maybe over the weekend, like going to the pool. Oh, that brought up some things, but then during the week, maybe they're okay. Mm. Yeah. And it definitely taught me that my one-time thought isn't forever. Mm. So. so it doesn't make it true just because you yeah. think it. Okay. Yeah. Like it's, For sure. It's totally. Yeah. Totally. Well, and that's, and it's interesting here, your perspective too, just as someone, I, mean, I think you said like that you, you haven't been doing therapy or like, haven't mm-hmm. been in therapy, but you're yeah. like, so some of this verbiage and some of these concepts are probably brand spanking we were new. totally yeah. new for sure. And it was definitely taken at a pace that I could understand. And things were explained on a level that made me feel comfortable. Cool. Yay. Ah, I'm so glad that it helped you. And yeah, just thanks so much for taking the time to share your thoughts about it. You're so great. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll talk again soon. Sounds great. Bye. Bye.